Have you ever felt like you're on the verge of something monumental like life itself is shifting beneath your feet? It's as if you're no longer standing in the same reality you knew yesterday. What if I told you that this feeling, this stirring deep in your soul, isn't just a coincidence? You're not imagining things, you are likely experiencing a quantum leap, growing sense of discomfort. Quantum leaping is more than just a buzzword thrown around in spiritual circles. It's a profound transformation, an acceleration of your life path that goes beyond the confines of time and space as we understand them. When you're quantum leaping, the universe conspires to shift you into a higher state of being, moving you toward your greatest potential faster than you thought possible. But here's the thing, these leaps don't just happen by chance. They come with signs and spiritual indicators that let you know the leap is unfolding. Yet these signs can be subtle, and if you don't know what to look for, you might miss them. But how do you know for sure that you're in the midst of this spiritual phenomenon? The first and perhaps most undeniable sign that you're quantum leaping is the growing sense of discomfort with your current reality. This discomfort isn't just a passing frustration or boredom, it's an intense, visceral feeling that your life no longer fits. You feel like an actor in a play that no longer resonates, wearing a costume that no longer feels like your own. It's as if everything familiar has turned foreign and you can't quite put your finger on why. In spiritual teachings, this phase is often described as a spiritual awakening, but there's something even more potent at play here. Quantum leaping takes that awakening and accelerates it, pulling you into a rapid evolution that demands you leave behind everything that is no longer aligned with your highest self. The discomfort you feel is not just emotional, it's energetic. Your old reality is too small for the person you're becoming, and the growing pains are impossible to ignore. Think of it like a snake shedding its skin. It's a necessary part of growth, but the process is uncomfortable. The old skin tightens, making it hard to move, hard to breathe. This discomfort is a clear sign that the old version of yourself, the one that fits perfectly in your old life, is no longer serving you. The snake doesn't resist shedding its skin. It knows that in order to continue thriving, it must let go. The same applies to you during a quantum leap. The life you once lived, the beliefs you once held, the people you surrounded yourself with, they were perfect for who you were, but they cannot contain who you are becoming. This discomfort can manifest in countless ways. You may suddenly feel out of place in situations that used to bring you comfort. Conversations that once felt engaging now seem shallow. Relationships that felt nourishing now drain you. And career paths you once pursued with passion no longer excite you. This is because your vibrational frequency is rising, and as it does, anything that's not in alignment with your new frequency will begin to fall away. It's during this phase that many people experience what is known as the dark night of the soul. This is a concept that originated in Christian mysticism, but it has parallels across spiritual traditions. The dark night of the soul is a period of profound inner turmoil, where everything that once gave your life meaning seems to crumble. While this might sound like a deeply unsettling experience, it's important to understand that it's a crucial part of the quantum leap process. The old must dissolve to make way for the new. In moments of extreme discomfort, you might find yourself questioning everything. Is this really my life, you ask yourself? Is this who I am? These questions aren't meant to confuse or distress you, they are signals from your higher self, urging you to re-evaluate what no longer serves you. If you're feeling increasingly dissatisfied with your current reality, it's not because something is wrong with you. Quite the opposite, it's because you're being called to something greater. You're being prepared for the leap. In this stage, it's important to resist the temptation to cling to what's comfortable. Human nature often seeks to hold on to what is familiar, even when that familiarity no longer serves us. We resist change because we fear the unknown. But in the case of a quantum leap, clinging to your old reality only prolongs the discomfort. The universe is gently, or sometimes not so gently, nudging you to let go, to surrender to the flow of transformation. This allows you to flow with the leap, 
trusting that the universe is guiding you exactly where you need to be. Presence of synchronicities. The second spiritual sign that you're leaping into a new reality is the sudden and undeniable presence of synchronicities. You know those moments when everything seems to align perfectly and you start noticing patterns and coincidences that seem far too intentional to ignore. This is the universe speaking to you in its own mysterious, often cryptic language. When you begin to experience a flood of synchronicities, it's a clear signal that you're not only in alignment with your higher self, but that your leap into a new reality is already underway. Synchronicities are not random. Carl Jung, the famous psychologist and spiritual thinker, coined the term synchronicity to describe meaningful coincidences, events that seem unrelated but, when experienced together, hold profound significance. These are not just lucky breaks or everyday happenings. When you're quantum leaping, these synchronicities become more frequent, more intense and more undeniable. They begin to weave themselves into your life in ways that make you pause and think, this cannot be a coincidence. For example, you may be thinking about a new career path or a creative idea that's been tugging at you for some time. Suddenly, everywhere you look, you see signs related to that idea. You meet someone at a party who works in the field you've been researching. A book recommendation appears with exactly the information you need. Or maybe, out of the blue, you hear a phrase that resonates so deeply with your situation that you can't help but feel it was meant for you. These synchronicities are nudges from the universe guiding you toward your leap. Ancient spiritual traditions have long held that the universe communicates through signs, symbols and synchronicities. In Hindu philosophy, there's the concept of Leela or the divine play. It teaches that everything happening in our lives, even the seemingly random or coincidental, is part of a greater cosmic design, a divine game in which the universe is constantly interacting with us, sending us signs and messages to guide our path. When you're on the verge of quantum leaping, these signs become more obvious because your awareness is heightened. You are tuning into the divine play, seeing beyond the surface of everyday life and recognizing the deeper meaning behind what's unfolding. You might wonder, why now? Why are these synchronicities showing up all of a sudden? The reason is simple, you've shifted your energy. When you're preparing for a quantum leap, your vibrational frequency is increasing. As you move closer to the new reality you're stepping into, you start to resonate with higher frequencies. This resonance attracts people, opportunities and events that match the vibration of your new reality. In other words, you begin to align with the version of yourself that already exists in this higher reality, and the universe responds by sending you synchronicities to guide you there. As these synchronicities become more frequent, you may even start to feel like you're in a state of flow. In Taoism, there's a concept known as Wu Wei, which translates to effortless action. It's the idea that when you are truly in harmony with the universe, things begin to unfold with ease. You no longer have to push, strive or force things to happen. Instead, the right people, opportunities and circumstances naturally fall into place. You feel like you're being carried by a current moving effortlessly toward your new reality. This state of flow is another powerful sign that you're in the midst of a quantum leap. In this phase, it's crucial to stay open and receptive. The more you pay attention to these synchronicities, the more they will appear. It's as though the universe is saying, now that you're listening, I'll show you more. Begin to actively look for these signs in your daily life. They may show up in numbers, such as the infamous angel numbers like 111 or 444, in conversations, in songs, or even in dreams. The more aware you are, the clearer the guidance will become. Crumbling of old paradigms. The third sign that you're quantum leaping is the crumbling of old paradigms. Quantum leaps require a shedding of the past to fully embrace the future, and that process can look like chaos before it becomes clear. You might feel like your life is being deconstructed right in front of your eyes. 
Friendships that once felt solid may suddenly dissolve. Career paths that you were once passionate about may lose their appeal, and even your own identity might feel like it's breaking apart. As frightening as this sounds, it's an essential part of quantum leaping because in order to leap into a new reality, the outdated structures of your current one must be dismantled. Let's look at the ancient spiritual concept of death and rebirth, which is found in many traditions across the globe. In Hinduism, this is known as samsara, the continuous cycle of death and rebirth until one reaches enlightenment. Similarly, in the tarot, the death card represents not literal death, but the end of a chapter, the destruction of what no longer serves you, so something new can be born in its place. This universal theme teaches that no real transformation can happen without the destruction of the old. Quantum leaping works in the same way. The structures that have supported your current reality need to fall away, creating space for the higher reality you are stepping into. At first, this might seem alarming. You might find yourself wondering, why is everything going wrong? Why am I losing the things I care about? But this is not something that is happening to you, it's happening for you. The breakdown is not a sign that you're failing or that life is working against you. On the contrary, it's a sign that you're on the verge of something far greater than you can imagine. You are not just losing things, you're making room for the life you've been manifesting. The collapse of old structures is the universe's way of clearing the path so that you can leap forward without the baggage of your past weighing you down. Think of a seed. Before it can sprout into a full-grown plant, it must first break open and destroy the shell that's been protecting it. Without this process, the seed can never grow into what it's meant to become. This is exactly what happens during a quantum leap. Your old structures, the relationships, jobs, identities and beliefs that once served you, are like the shell of the seed. They protected you and helped you grow for a time, but now they must be broken apart to allow your next stage of growth. It can feel painful, even frightening, as these old structures fall away, but it's a necessary part of your transformation. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that this breakdown often happens in areas of your life where you've outgrown your circumstances. Perhaps you've been in a relationship that no longer aligns with who you are becoming, and despite your best efforts to hold on, it begins to crumble. Or maybe you've been in a job that feels stifling, and suddenly you're laid off or feel an overwhelming urge to quit. These moments, though difficult, are signs that the universe is preparing you for a leap into a new reality. The collapsing of these structures is not random, it's a recalibration. You're being aligned with your highest path, and anything that doesn't resonate with that new reality must fall away. In many ways, this process mirrors the famous Buddhist teaching of impermanence or anicca. The Buddha taught that nothing in life is permanent and that clinging to what no longer serves us only brings suffering. When you're quantum leaping, this teaching becomes especially relevant. The structures that once defined your life are temporary and resisting their collapse only prolongs the inevitable. Instead of fearing this change, you're invited to embrace it. Letting go of the old is what allows you to leap into the new. But how do you know if this collapse is a sign of quantum leaping and not just a random rough patch? The key is to look at how it feels on a deeper level. When you're quantum leaping, even amidst the chaos, there is an underlying sense of purpose. You might feel grief, sadness or fear as things fall apart, but somewhere deep inside, you'll also feel a strange sense of relief or liberation. It's as though your soul knows that the dismantling is necessary for your evolution. This feeling, even if subtle, is a clue that you're in the midst of a quantum leap. Crystal clear intuition and heightened awareness. The fourth sign that you're quantum leaping is the sudden arrival of crystal clear intuition and heightened awareness. It feels as though the fog that once clouded your path has been lifted and for the first time you can see exactly where you're headed. This clarity comes not just from your mind but from your entire being. It's intuitive knowing that you're on the right track 
even if the details of the future haven't fully materialized yet. Think of it like a radio frequency. Before your leap, you might have felt like you were tuning in and out of different channels, catching only bits and pieces of messages from the universe. But now, you've found the exact station you're meant to be on, and the signal is coming through strong and clear. Your intuition becomes sharper, and you start to receive messages, insights and ideas with remarkable precision. It's as if the universe is whispering directly into your ear, guiding you step by step toward your new reality. This sense of clarity often manifests in unexpected ways. You might wake up one morning with a sudden, undeniable realization about your life's purpose or a clear vision of the path you're meant to take. Or during a quiet moment, you may experience a powerful aha moment where everything just clicks. These moments of insight feel like truth, like something deep within you has been activated and you're finally seeing things as they truly are. This is one of the clearest indicators that you're in the process of a quantum leap. Your internal compass has aligned with your highest path and the direction ahead is illuminated. To illustrate this, let's turn to a teaching from the Zen tradition. In Zen Buddhism, there's the concept of Satori, which refers to a sudden flash of enlightenment or awakening. It's that moment when, after searching and striving, a person experiences a deep, intuitive understanding of the truth. Satori is often described as a moment of profound clarity, where the mind, body and spirit align in harmony and everything becomes clear. Quantum leaping can bring about a similar kind of clarity. As the old paradigms fall away, your mind becomes more receptive to higher truths, and you begin to see things from a higher perspective. But this clarity isn't something you can force. It comes when you've done the work of letting go of what no longer serves you, when you've allowed the old structures to collapse. In that space of surrender and trust, the universe can finally deliver the insights and direction you've been seeking. It's like a river that was once blocked by a dam. Once the dam is removed, the water flows freely and everything begins to move in perfect harmony. If you're experiencing this kind of clarity, pay attention to the messages you're receiving. They might come in the form of sudden ideas or gut feelings that urge you to take specific actions. You might feel an undeniable pull toward a new opportunity or a sense that you need to make a drastic change in your life. Trust these intuitive nudges. They are signs that you're in alignment with your quantum leap and they are guiding you toward the reality you've been manifesting. This heightened awareness doesn't just apply to your internal world, it extends to the external world as well. You'll start noticing things you hadn't before, like hidden opportunities, synchronicities, and signs from the universe that seem to confirm you're on the right path. It's as if your senses have been amplified and you're picking up on subtle energies that guide your decisions, this new level of awareness is a direct result of your quantum leap. You're vibrating at a higher frequency, and because of that, you're able to perceive things from a more expansive point of view. Embrace the peace that comes with this newfound vision, and trust that every step you take is bringing you closer to your highest reality. Shift in Relationships The fifth sign that you're quantum leaping is the transformation of the people around you, some relationships will grow stronger, while others will naturally fall away. When you're quantum leaping, your energy and vibration are elevating. You're no longer operating from the same frequency you once did, and as a result, the people you attract into your life and the ones you keep begin to change. This shift is one of the most tangible and visible signs that something significant is happening within you. The universe is reorganizing your external environment to match your internal transformation. You may find that certain friendships, partnerships or connections that once felt aligned no longer resonate with you. It's as if you're operating on a different wavelength and the conversations, interactions and energy exchanges that once seemed normal now feel out of place. This is a natural part of the quantum leap process. 
As you elevate your consciousness and move closer to your higher self, you'll notice that people who are still rooted in old energies or limiting beliefs begin to fade from your life. But this doesn't mean you have to cut people off coldly or with resentment. In fact, it's important to approach these changes with compassion and understanding. As you leap forward, some people will naturally move out of your orbit, while others may choose to stay but in a different capacity. It's not about forcing anyone out of your life, it's about allowing relationships to shift and evolve in a way that supports your growth. The people who are meant to be in your life as you quantum leap will rise to meet your new energy. You'll notice that some relationships deepen and flourish in ways you hadn't expected. Suddenly, you may find that the people who remain in your life are those who support your growth, who encourage you to step into your power and who resonate with your new vibration. These are the relationships that will sustain you as you continue to leap into your new reality. A powerful parable that speaks to this comes from the teachings of Jesus in the New Testament. In one passage, he describes the pruning of a vine. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. John chapter 15, verse 1 to 2. This metaphor beautifully captures the essence of what happens during a quantum leap. Some relationships are like branches that no longer bear fruit. They served their purpose in your life, but now they are being pruned so that new, more fruitful connections can grow. As your relationships shift, it's also possible that new people will enter your life seemingly out of nowhere. These individuals may feel like kindred spirits, people who understand you on a deep level, even if you've just met them. This is no coincidence. When you're quantum leaping, the universe brings new connections into your life that match your elevated frequency. These new relationships often carry a sense of ease and flow, as though you've known each other for lifetimes. There's a soul recognition, a knowing that these people are here to walk alongside you on your new path. But even though these changes may bring new, exciting connections, the process of losing old relationships can feel painful. It's natural to mourn the loss of friendships or partnerships that once meant so much to you. However, as you let go, you'll come to understand that not all relationships are meant to last forever. Some people come into your life for a specific season or purpose, and once that purpose is fulfilled, it's time for both of you to move on. There's an ancient Buddhist teaching known as Anatta, or the doctrine of non-self. It's the understanding that attachment to anything, whether it be a person, a material object, or even an idea, can create suffering. When you're quantum leaping, this teaching becomes profoundly relevant. You begin to realize that clinging to relationships that no longer serve you only holds you back. Just as you're evolving, so too must your relationships. The more you can release your attachments and allow people to come and go freely from your life, the more you open yourself to the flow of the universe and the new, elevated connections that await you. Physical Transformation as we move to the sixth sign of a quantum leap, we enter the realm of physical transformation. Unlike the more emotional or mental shifts we've discussed so far, this sign is one you can feel in your body. You may experience sensations that are new, unfamiliar, or even a little unsettling. This is a clear indication that your physical vessel is adjusting to the higher frequencies you are tapping into. Your body is recalibrating to match your new spiritual vibration, the body is a profound communicator, constantly sending signals about what's happening internally and externally. When you're quantum leaping, your body is undergoing an energetic overhaul, and this can manifest in a variety of ways. Some people experience what's known as ascension symptoms, which can include fatigue, headaches, dizziness, or even physical pain in certain areas. You might feel as though your body is buzzing or tingling with energy. While this can be uncomfortable at times, it's a sign that your physical body is adjusting to the rapid changes happening within your spiritual field. Ancient yogic philosophies speak of prana, the life force energy that flows through all living things. 
This energy moves through our bodies in pathways called nadis, and when you're in the process of quantum leaping, your nadis are likely experiencing an influx of energy that can sometimes feel overwhelming. It's as though your system is being flooded with high-frequency vibrations and your body needs time to acclimate. Much like when you upgrade a computer's software, the hardware, your body, might temporarily slow down or glitch while the new system installs. But once the adjustment is complete, you function on a whole new level. During this phase of your leap, you might notice that certain physical symptoms come and go without explanation. One day you're full of energy, feeling lighter than air, and the next you're wiped out, needing more rest than usual. This can be disorienting, especially if you're used to maintaining a steady level of physical vitality. But rest assured, these ups and downs are part of the process. Your body is learning to integrate the new energy that is pouring in, and with time, you'll find balance again. The sensation of feeling ungrounded is also common during a quantum leap. Because you are energetically expanding, it can sometimes feel like you're floating or disconnected from your physical body. You might feel as though you're not fully present in the material world, and this can create a sense of disorientation. In spiritual terms, this is often referred to as being in the void or between worlds. You're no longer fully rooted in the old version of yourself, but you haven't yet fully embodied the new one. This liminal space is where deep transformation occurs, and it's important to honor it rather than resist it. The ancient Chinese practice of Tai Chi, for example, is designed to help practitioners harmonize their internal energy with the natural world. By focusing on slow, deliberate movements, you bring your awareness back to the body, allowing the influx of new energy to settle more smoothly. You may also notice that your eating habits or cravings change during this period. Some people find themselves drawn to lighter, cleaner foods, while others may crave more grounding, hearty meals. This is your body's way of communicating what it needs to sustain itself through the leap. Pay attention to these signals. Your body knows what it requires to maintain equilibrium, and honoring these shifts will help you navigate this stage of transformation with more ease. In some spiritual traditions such as Ayurveda, the body is viewed as a reflection of the mind and spirit. When you're quantum leaping, your physical body is mirroring the internal shifts you're making in your consciousness. This means that taking care of your body is an essential part of the leap. Self-care practices like gentle movement, hydration and getting enough rest will support your physical and energetic bodies in aligning with your new vibration. Time seems to bend or warp. The seventh and final sign you're in the midst of a quantum leap is one of the most fascinating and otherworldly, the experience of time bending or warping. If you've ever felt like days blur together, like hours pass in the blink of an eye, or stretch on forever, then you're already familiar with this sensation. But during a quantum leap, the effect is amplified, and you begin to perceive time in ways that defy conventional understanding. This isn't just a casual phenomenon, it's a profound shift in how you experience reality itself. It's as if the usual rules of time no longer apply, and you find yourself moving through life in a rhythm that is both faster and slower at the same time. Tasks that once felt like they took hours may now seem to finish in moments, while simple conversations or thoughts may stretch on, expanding in ways you can't quite explain. Many spiritual traditions reference this strange relationship with time. In Buddhist teachings, time is seen as an illusion, a construct of the mind. Enlightened masters often describe transcending the limits of linear time altogether, entering into what's called timeless awareness. During a quantum leap, you're touching this state, where time flows in sync with your spiritual growth rather than the ticking of a clock. You might begin to notice that when you're deeply immersed in something aligned with your higher purpose, time seems to fly. Hours pass like minutes, and you're so absorbed in what you're doing that the world around you fades into the background. This state is often referred to as flow in psychology, 
and it's a key indicator that you're operating at a higher vibrational frequency. You're no longer anchored to the mundane aspects of time. Instead, you're surfing on the wave of your quantum leap. On the flip side, you may also experience the opposite effect, where time feels like it's slowing down or even standing still. This can happen during moments of deep reflection or meditation, or even during everyday activities when you're fully present in the moment. It's as if time itself stretches, giving you the space to observe and absorb what's happening on a deeper level. This experience of expanded time allows you to process the immense changes happening within you, and it's a sign that you're evolving rapidly. The ancient Greeks had two words for time, Kronos, which refers to chronological or linear time, and Kairos, which refers to the right, opportune or divine moment. When you're quantum leaping, you begin to live more in Kairos, where events unfold in perfect timing and you're no longer ruled by the pressure of deadlines or schedules. You might find that certain opportunities or connections show up exactly when you need them, not a moment sooner or later. It's as if the universe is orchestrating everything with divine precision and you're simply moving in harmony with this grand cosmic rhythm. At first, this shift in your experience of time can be disorienting. You might feel out of sync with the world around you, especially if others are still operating on Kronos. But the key is to trust the process and understand that this is a natural part of your quantum leap. As you continue to evolve, you'll find that time begins to work in your favor, guiding you to the right places, people and experiences with ease. You're no longer a prisoner of the clock. You're a co-creator of your own timeline. Trust that this is part of the process and embrace the mystery of it all. You're moving into a new dimension of experience, one where time is fluid and your spiritual evolution is the only thing that truly matters. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.